Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Devil XI. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. That's right, you tell him, little buddy. Welcome, everybody, to Late Night, Late Night Radio. That's right, episode 699. That's right, we celebrating family. We celebrating seven years in multimedia internet Broadcasting, that's right, podcasting, whatever you want to call it. Right here, y'all, this is episode 699, and tonight, joining me on Late Night Radio is the ladies of radio. That's right, Kelly Holland, on Thursday nights, you can catch her. That's right, coming out of Baltimore, the beautiful Charm City. And then we got Shay Samuels, coming out of Atlanta. You can find her on every other Monday. First and the second, I mean third. And then we got Paula G. the Voice. Join us tonight, tonight. We're going to have a great time. All right, this, this is a special podcast because uh, not only we celebrating, you know, 700 episodes, which, which we're going to do the first of the year, but also, again, we celebrate seven whole years. That's right, seven whole years immediately. Let's bring Paula G out. She's going to be our moderator tonight. She's going to, we got a special topic on perseverance. We want to understand why we do what we do here as podcasts. It's not an easy task. You got you to gotta bring yourself up every night or every other night or once a week. And you have to keep your audience encouraged because that's, that's our job. That's what God has ordained us to do. This is our ministry. So we got responsibility to our listening audience. We, it doesn't matter if it's one well, there's a million people listening. You have to, you have to keep them up. That's right. That's why they tune in because they because you keep them motivated. At least you try to. You give it your best shot. There's something they like about you, and that's why they tune in. Right, Paula G. The voice is going on. How's it going? Happy holidays. Hey, happy holidays to you as well, Jerry. Voice Live Worldwide, Batman, Positive Power, twenty one seven years. Wow. Seven you know, that's years. Num- the number of completions. That's right. I love it. The number of completion. Look, look at all that you have accomplished in seven years. Yeah. That's a journey right there. God is good. It was a journey. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And and look, you know, the, the, the vision, then writing the plan, and then working the plan, and now your vision has become, has manifested yeah. into a very successful Radio and television platform. That's right. You go, Batman. God, God is good. God is good. I mean, who knows? All yeah. those years, he he had me in training. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it all it really started. Did. Yeah, the years before. Yeah, that's and right. I, you know that's that's the path of life. He always, you know, we 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 go through these things in life, and sometimes we don't realize why we go through what we go through until years later when we're walking in what it is that he has placed before us and we draw from those experiences from our past you know to help us move forward to propel us forward um into that journey so yeah yeah, Who yeah. Knew, right <laughs> that's right you know it's funny um i think i was telling gene i think i had this conversation with shay too when we was interviewing um ken osborne because Incredible mm-hmm. guy, incredible story. Can't wait for people to see that at this yeah. show on the Red Room with him and Shay. I uh, remember <laughs> when um, my parents gave me a citizen band radio for, um, I think I was graduating from middle school. I think it was middle school mm-hmm. when citizen band radio came out because Kent was talking about getting one. He was going to get one. And he told me things have, you know, time has changed on the radio. It's a little different now. But I remember, you know, because we was in the community and everybody pretty much, I say out of 10 households, maybe two households had, out of every 10 households had a citizen band radio. And mostly everybody had them in their cars. 
And I remember people coming yeah. to our house to meet me. And here I am, I think, 15 years old. And my mom was like, what are these grown people doing coming to see you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know that's, that was her question. <laughs> she ain't never investigated, though. She would just ask the question. And um, right, I said, they my right. friends. They my citizen. They my CB friends. You know, because everybody had their handle. We never used real names. You know, my name was, uh, yeah. was uh, I think it was a Landslide or something like a Baltimore Rough Rider. Landslide. Yeah. When Baltimore I was at, Rough Rider. Yeah, I had two names because one name was when my parents punished me. I snuck on there. <laughs> so people were telling you in the neighborhood back Ooh. then. <laughs> I was, Here being disobedient. Yeah, I'd just be on there. Just, I wouldn't let nobody talk. <laughs> i turned turn on all my wattage and cut everybody off. They had to listen to uh, me talk all night, saying just anything. I would just sing. But just, that- but that was a big thing, though. I mean, that was huge. It was. It was. It was Even huge. Back then, that was really huge. Everybody had a handle, and it was fun. Know, everybody it was, had it was fun. And, yeah, yeah. The new yeah, identity, your own huge. identity. And I'm, I made. I matter mm-hmm. of fact, I had met like best friends on a, on the a radio, and then we would walk to go visit. Cause we didn't drive, so we would walk to go visit right. other people because they didn't. They're far from our neighborhood. We go, you know, we go meet them and hang mm-hmm. hang out on that. Mm-hmm. You know, talk to them about you know about. Most of the time, we was talking about equipment and what we wanted, you know, our vision. And um, But, right, you know, it right. led me into thinking about radio, though. When my dad was like, and I think I told you earlier, my dad said, nope, you only can go to school in Maryland. I said, but D.C. is in Maryland. He said, no, it's not. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I had to choose another school. <laughs> it was in the budget. You had to choose, a, you yeah. had to choose another school, but look where you are. Today. Look yeah. where it got you. Yeah, it did. It did. So you were still... Still able to craft it, you know, into your into your dream and into your vision, and now you have, you know, you have a solid foundation. You have a solid platform that, you know, will only continue to grow and a legacy. We talked about that earlier too. Yeah, that's right. Because you know, for your for your children, how does it how does it look for you when you when you reflect back over all of this? How what how does it look for you? What goes through your head? Well, one thing, you know, you know, when you start getting, you know, a little more seasoned in your age, you kind of want to have, you know, more on your plate than just going to the bar, <laughs> sports bar, you know, or hanging out mm-hmm. with your friends mm-hmm. at their house. You kind of outgrow hanging out in other people's basement. And and then right. sometimes just the, you know, coming home from work and your, your, your whole day is watching TV. I just knew, you know. You know, you can't give the, the, the your job everything, all of you, which a lot of people do. And then when they retire, it's like it's nothing to look at. But I mean, if you get a gold watch, I don't even think they do gold watches anymore. But it's like I just didn't want to, you know, I saw my future and I just wanted to to be able to keep going until, you know, God turned turn everything off for me, you know. So I look at this, that if people go online and they look up Jerry Woods Live and they see all of this stuff that's out there and, and, and even getting back, I told you earlier, we're thinking about getting back into publishing, you know, because my son has a, has abilities too. And I think I was telling, um, <laughs> I think I told Kelly earlier, I said, my son told me, Dad, you got to give me a script. <laughs> We got to work with a script. So now I got to write scripts because I yeah. said, I said, maybe I did have a little bit of Jay-Z and Eminem. You know, you hear about these guys can write rap music hits and never wrote right. anything down. Nothing. They just, and I said, it's I can come vision. up with these skits in my mind if I write anything down. But, you know, for other people, they don't want to work like that. <laughs> you know, they want to. So now I said, well, now I'm, I'm putting my penmanship back together again. You know, we not only are we working on scripts for, you know, for the puppet ministry and everything, but also we're looking at, mm-hmm putting adventure books together as well so it's like okay i gotta start writing things down so so you know so now it's be going to another chapter you know of publishing so so that's how new beginning that's how year i look eight. at it yeah yeah. Year eight. Yeah. yeah and and that and, and even that has prepared you now now you have to you know you have to start writing these scripts and you have that background in publishing and so forth so year eight the year of new beginnings that's Ooh. right that's right, it's and children, something. and children, and more children. Television is what we re- really interested in too, as well as keeping our spiritual. Because I feel like you know, like I told you earlier, I said I feel like you know, listening to what Earl, uh, Wayne Dwyer said that you know God didn't put you on earth to do all this by yourself, and it's like you see how everything is tying in. I mean, even some of the other radio stations and people moving into television, they look at us as being you know kind of like the leader of the pack. You know, they, they don't really mm-hmm. use the word pioneer, say like media mongo or whatever. So it's like they see the direction we're going in and they know that there's doors open that they can 
pick any door they want. They don't necessarily have to follow my exact tracks, but if they want to do, you know, uh, variety shows. I mean, look, look, look how popular some of those shows were years ago, those like Star Search and the Gong Show. We need those type of black television entertainment because we have so many gifted artists and they don't have enough to me only thing is available to them if the church gives give them an opportunity and if they do a music video and begging for time on the radio it's like we have to open up more opportunities for our black entertainers you know our entertainers need more opportunities so the more um Curl and Gerald Irvings and more Tin Randalls and and more Tony D's come along, you know, right behind us, you know, because you have those 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 venues available with, with your Roku and your Apple, your Amazons are opening up opportunity for independent uh, content creators. Even some of your cable companies are open up opportunity. If you got money, you can buy airtime on pretty much anywhere in any city. So I just feel like um, we're Giving, we're showing people there are other opportunities out there than us just just trying to just entertain you know people in real time. It's like let's let's take advantage of our broadcasting opportunities and show our young people you know that they can use their talents the same way and, and even take it even higher. You know more BETs, more VH1, more TV1. So, so that's what we that's that's our our vision. You know, it's a lot of people on this planet. You know, and we all connected now. All connected. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of opportunities, and you know, with the you know current pandemic, it has it has leveled the playing field a bit. Yeah, because we're all you know, as they say, we're all in this together, so we're all having to navigate and you know resort to video streaming, and you know, a lot of the shows are now being done virtually and things of that nature. So. A, a lot of opportunities for everyone across the board. So yeah. it is, you know, like they say, the best of times, the worst of times. But yeah. in spite of, of it all, we will persevere and continue moving forward and get some wisdom from our sisters in the radio this evening who yeah. also continue to this juggle this journey called life that's right that's right i'm excited to hear you know what they got to share uh with that topic because uh when i didn't get a chance to share the topic with shay yet because we're going to you know actually tape tomorrow but one of the things i want to say before we open up the uh the key Mm -hmm. for them is i never really liked that word virtual because you know i know that's Mm -hmm. that's new for a lot of us because you know we were forced to do the things we were doing live now we're doing it yeah you know through the internet but really if you look at what the major studios been doing they never call it virtual ever you know those those sports announcers and those uh news anchor people always broadcast remotely the real word is remotely because if you look at it mm. cnn when they have a, a a news a weatherman is out there in the middle of a typhoon or whatever in the philippines mm-hmm. reporting he's not virtual <laughs> he's he's really there mm-hmm. and then the people right. who's re- at the studio in new york is just in the studio in new york so it's really remotely right. so i never really care for the word virtual um just like um mm-hmm. when you're looking at these shows now uh, so the guests can't be in the studio. Now you're able to get more guests. You're not just locked into a guest who has traveling budget. Now you can talk to anybody you want to have on the show. You know, the only thing virtual is the audience that they're putting monitors out there to, to fill the seats. That's the only thing that's virtual. Mm-hmm. Really, you know, right. this is considered to be just remote broadcasting. That's really yeah. what it is, yeah. you know. So I never liked the word virtual. Well, new doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new doors, new doors. That's right. So I just want to put that out there. The <laughs> Batman do not like the word virtual. It's remote. So noted. <laughs> yeah. That's so right. We have made we have made a note of that. <laughs> That's right, because I know when I was at uh, Merlin Public Television hanging out with them, and they had a young lady that was um, broadcasting uh, from a nap from the, from the Capitol, Annapolis, you know, the Capitol Hill, whatever they call it, and um, she was using her cell phone, you know, to help out with the broadcast because they was having problems with the signal. They never once used the word virtual. They just said she's remote from Annapolis, you know, and that was what it was, you know. So, right. We ready to open up the queue Absolutely. to let the ladies out. Absolutely. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while since we had the Christian party line. What's up, Shay Samuels and Kelly Holland? Hey, 
Hey, hey, hello, hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Happy holidays. I miss, ladies. I miss my positive <laughs> power, double X five sisters. Congratulations, Paula G. You are big time TV. Okay, girl, your show got picked up. Congratulations, Shay, on your time with double X out here. And, 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 and congratulations to the whole double power, positive power, double X five family for their seven year anniversary. Amen. God is good. Yeah. Thank you, and congratulations yeah. to you because you became a part of the Double XI family. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Help us get to seven hundred. That's right, seven hundred. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I love it. You know, it's funny. That's not an easy number. Just think. I was just telling Lakeisha earlier. I said. Uh, I said. Um, I said. I said you at number eighty five and. And, and Dr. V just celebrated 75 episodes last week. So we're going to celebrate uh, tomorrow when we do her broadcast. I said, you know, look, look how many years, look how long it took for them just to get to 85 and 75. And, and then you're talking about 700 <laughs> right now. And this is my third <laughs> time a doing. Of, a of, right. This is my third time doing 700 episodes. My third time. Hey, so man, I actually I'm done 2100 <laughs> Episode. No, that's a lot of people I met. I don't say it like that, Paul. Just it's a lot of people we met. Look at it like that. Mm-hmm. And not all those people who have came back, you know, were repeats. Neither. We didn't have a lot of repeats. Mm-hmm. Kelly, you haven't had a repeat. And I don't think Paula, you haven't either. Maybe Shay. Did you? <laughs> no, you didn't, Kelly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nope. No repeat. No repeat. That's right. <laughs> We at, least, at least we try not to have repeats, you know, and maybe it'd be, no. we blame that on Skeet. <laughs> it was a problem in booking. <laughs> Sometimes the schedule works that way, and it's okay because we're all here to, you know, hit the ground rolling and do what we need to do for each other. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. all right. Well, look, y'all have a great show. I'm sitting back and I'm going to enjoy the topic. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you again for everything, right. Gary, and happy seven year anniversary thank you thank you shay and i want to say you know i couldn't do it without you guys because you know it's, it's you know when it's like some time to bring yourself up for a show after you had a long day or a long weekend i know it's not easy and i appreciate you guys i love you very much and thank you for oh, um helping us reach you. 700 oh. episodes and seven years amen 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 well we love thank you too you. Bad, man mm-hmm. <laughs> We love you too, Batman, and we love you also, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Late Night Radio with Jerry Voice Live and Paula G on the second and fourth Mondays, first and third, with none other than the voice of an angel, Miss Shea Samuels, who's also with um. us tonight, as well as my sister, Miss Kelly Holland. We thank you also hey. for joining us. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I just want to remind you all to make sure you check us out each and every night of the week, Triple Podcast, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Mm -hmm. Thursday. You do not want to miss it right here on Positive Power 21. This indeed is an exciting evening. It's almost like a, a, a reunion. I feel like I'm having a reunion this evening with my sisters and radio, mm-hmm. Kelly Holland, who you can catch on Thursday evenings at 10 p.m. She mm-hmm. is a woman that's moving, making it, and shaking it, owning two nonprofits, I believe. She and yeah. I have something in common. We have worked with at risk youth and she mm-hmm. is making a difference. And then there's my sister Shay Samuels, radio, television, recording artist, entrepreneur, and certified life coach. Yet another woman <laughs> who's mm-hmm. making it and shaking it as we are truly juggling this journey called life while walking mm-hmm. in the gifts and talents that God has given us. And tonight, this conversation is, is such a reflection of, you know, I opened my show, uh, my journey with Paula G with that very phrase, juggling this journey called life while walking in the gifts and talents that God has given us. And this truly is a season of juggling that journey, a season of persevering in, in what it is that we do in this media during challenging times and I know both of you ladies have been you know going through some challenging we all have in 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 this period of pandemic mania you know we've Mm -hmm. all been going through some you know our respective um, challenging times so I want to start with Kelly this evening to share with us a bit about 
what this year has been like for you and how you have managed to still maintain a radio show, still show up every week. <laughs> Shay and I say show mm-hmm. up, show up every week and, and persevere through the other things that may be going on in your life. Okay. Um, well, let me start off with a day in Kelly's shoes. Okay. So this morning I wake up and I have nausea and I'm sick and somebody's cooking something and it stinks. That's how I feel. And then, <laughs> and then um, my blood pressure cuff comes in the mail. Amazon got it to me and I find out I'm in the red zone, but I don't let that bother me. I get ready for my Zoom call this morning <laughs> and I get on the air and I fake it for about an hour and a half and then I get off there and I call my doctor and she says come in right away so I get there um and she says go to the ER so then I go there (laughs) I sit there about three and a half hours finally got the word that I could leave left there celebrated my daughter's 21st birthday and I still had 16 minutes to burn that highway up so I can hop on this call (laughs) at 10 o'clock I got here like 10.01 and I was so (laughs) grateful to God I don't gotta go back downstairs I locked every door turned on every light that is a difficult day in the shoes of Callie Holland and why wouldn't I get up and keep doing this show so that's the type of push I have to give myself we have things to do mind we can't be sick right now let's get back to our health in a second we got work to do and not to say that that's a healthy thing to do but it was more about mind over matter for me today um and so i must keep going who else is going to feed these children if i don't keep going and i can't live off of two paychecks a month i don't have that type of time they want to take up all your time all your day Mm -hmm. you you come back home you're exhausted and they give you two checks for the month after everybody done dug their piece out of it here go your 62 percent or whatever it is now it's ridiculous so there has to be a transformation in me there has to be a growth in me and so there you had that was a full-blown example right there (laughs) of what i go through (laughs) You know, exactly. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's important that we keep pushing. Did the doctor say I needed to be admitted? Well, if that was the case, I wouldn't be here tonight, but my sisters would be able to carry on. But God made it sure that I was able to celebrate birthdays, see all my babies. It was such a wonderful mm-hmm. time. I haven't sat around the whole Holland Five in, in years. So this was a, a joy for me. I come out the restaurant. What am I eating? I serve. <laughs> yeah, shouting to the Lord. You know, we're going to give him praise right now. Now. Amen. <laughs> and Amen. then, look, let me get pulled over while Bernie's 14 minutes <laughs> up on this highway. That thing said I'm supposed to get home at 10 05. I said, I need you shave them right. five minutes off and give me two more so I can get up there to my last time. <laughs> and so God made a way. He made, he a, made way. a way for you. Yeah. you and that's you know, all you got to do. Yeah, under under you know my <laughs> even even if you had been admitted this evening, you would have still been sitting up in the hospital bed broadcasting from your hospital bed. You know what? Uh, I probably would have. You know, I got Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi in the hospital. Where's the Wi-Fi? Yeah, you Where ain't coming is... back for another hour or two. I know it. <laughs> Might as well get some work done. And you're right. I would have been because in, in my life, in my shoes, I have no other choice but to get up. In those days where I just can't do it, God allows me that time. He's patient with me. If I need to go in my cage for a minute or two, a day or three, a week, you know, <laughs> God allows me that right. time. But I'm still here for the children. I'm accessible. I'm accessible to the family. I'm accessible to opportunities. I have time and opportunity. Why would I not just push the door a little bit? What would happen yeah. if I kick the door down? Good Lord. And am I afraid of success? <laughs> So that's also right. something that people must truly ask themselves. Am I afraid of this next step I keep claiming I want? Am mm. I really going to step to the plate? Mm-hmm. And so I challenge Am I myself afraid of this really. next step that I keep claiming I want? Wow. Exactly. I pray yeah. for that daily because I don't always have it in me, but that doesn't mean I gave up. Right. I deferred right. it. Right. Okay. Persevering. <laughs> Persevering. Persevering in these times and persevering in media during these challenging, you know, during these challenging times. Shay, I know that you, sometimes I I look at you and I, and I say, I have no idea how this woman juggles it all. I mean, she truly is the epitome of juggling this journey called life while walking into gifts and talents because you have so many ministries and, you know, so many things that you 
are doing to include launching your own business, um, you know, out of one of those challenges and, <laughs> and one of those <laughs> opportunities of persevering. So share with us how you have been persevering through these times while still walking in the gifts and talents that God has given you? Um, you know, and that's a good question because as you were, as Kelly was talking, I was just thinking about the rigmarole mm-hmm. and the ebbs and flows of our days. And mm-hmm. I think we all have those days. And then we get on on a Monday night and people don't know what we've been through. And um, mm-hmm. it makes me think about all the other radio broadcasters out there that's extremely um, mainstream and Mm -hmm. you know we just hear them on the other end of the radio making us laugh or you know giving us an encouraging word and at times you know we might need people to encourage us (laughs) but we're we're still we're still doing it so um kelly i appreciate your transparency but i think Mm -hmm. i said it on um, one of your shows um lady wisdom (laughs) <laughs> I think I said on one of your shows, um, you know, I love how God gives us our time back whenever we're doing mm-hmm. the things of God. And mm-hmm. it never seems like there's enough time in the day. But when you look at what you have been able to accomplish, you realize that you got it done. And that mm-hmm. really is because mm-hmm. we're doing the work of God and because mm-hmm. we've extended ourselves and um, to, to either help others or um, we're productive in ways that most people would probably, you know, Jerry said at the start of the show, we're not sitting at a bar watching a game. We're not trying mm-hmm. to do anything that um, is not going to enhance who we are, our knowledge, um, you know, um, whatever it is that we're doing. So I think mm-hmm. it's all a matter of just, it, it's a juggle, you know, life is definitely mm-hmm. a juggle. I just did a post. The struggle is, and I put is in capital letters, is mm-hmm. real, but we can choose to overcome it. So mm-hmm. that's what it is. I can choose to kind of wallow in my pity whenever something happens, or I can choose to kind of, you know, you know, pull my big girl pants up and, and, mm-hmm. and get it done. Um, mm-hmm. And to Kelly's point, you know, at times it seems like we should not have to do that but it's natural. It's natural for us. Um, I read a story a long time ago about a mom, um, a mother's strength. And it said that you never know the strength of a woman until the child is in danger. And I just did a a message on our businesses being like that child. Mm -hmm. Um, And so if we look at it from that perspective, we'll start identifying what age the business is at at the time. Or even if it's radio, you know, what what age is it at, at that time? Where am I at that point of time? And that's where the strength comes from. But the story goes on to say that the mother had a child in the car and supernaturally mm-hmm. the strength came out of nowhere where she had to actually, the car flipped over and had to pull the car over. The adrenaline, it just got pumping because she was actually trying to get the kid out the car. And so Mm -hmm. that's how it is with everything that we do. You know, I can't say it's just me. It's the strength of a woman. (laughs) It's with everything that we do. (laughs) You know, Mm -hmm. it's it's the strength of the woman. So I can't say that it's just a me thing. I think it's just as women, that's how we empower ourselves as we empower others. And we get it done. And I can agree with you on that, Shay. And it's empowering when I can feel crappy, go and mentor, life coach a group or, you know, some audience. And then as they're healing, I get to heal. And what I thought was the issue is no longer an issue. I don't life coach myself in the process, you know, <laughs> and, you know, I, I definitely have those days. And, and, you know, I never thought of it that way, though, Shay, when you said we, we get this extra energy because we're doing God's work. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he he equips us with that energy, and I, and I think he he places situations in our lives, and y'all y'all can can speak to this as well. I I believe that prepares us for it as well. You know, mm-hmm. the part of it is that natural that natural instinct, as as you all have mentioned, and it, that is so true because you you know, like you all have mentioned, when that when that when that mama bear mode kicks in, <laughs> it's it's like blind <laughs> rage. <It's, laughs> get out you got to sit back way. sometimes and say, did I just do that? Did yeah. I just do that? <laughs> yeah. Pure yeah. anger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> when, that mama bear, when that mama bear adrenaline gets gets going, it's 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 unstoppable. And yeah. you know, the examples that you all gave, the, the analogies that you all gave, I think were so vivid and so powerful and so real as well. And in addition to that, I think there are times where we have experiences in our lives. You know, I often reflect, you know, a lot of times y'all hear me talk. I often reflect on my years as a, as a military spouse and being an officer's wife and times when he was in leadership and command, which then automatically would put me in leadership and command and having to go into that mission mode you know, during uh, times of deployment or when they were in, uh, you know, war zones, hot spots, things of that nature, you know, not having time to have a pity party, not having time to feel, you know, sorry for myself or what was me because there were things that needed to be done in that moment to help others, to help the other families, yes. to, you know, help yes. the other spouses and so forth. Yes. So you, you have these life experiences that you then, that, that just strengthen even further those natural skills and those natural mm-hmm. abilities that, that, that God gives us, yes. you know, as we're, as we're going on this journey. Can y'all, can y'all speak to that? Kelly, you can, you can, you can start. You, you know what? That is so true. And I'm so grateful when I first um, wanted to gain a platform um, just doing speaking events. That's all I wanted to do was speaking events. God had a whole nother plan for me. But the bro that he gave me was was amazing. And I didn't pay attention to the journey. I just kept moving. I didn't know what the opportunity was creating mm. for me, but I just kept moving. And it seemed easy to take that walk. I was getting a lot of closed doors. <laughs> Enough. Mm-hmm. I was like, Lord Jesus. <laughs> like, what do I sit up here for and present and push and why? For what? You know, I'm feeling I'm feeling down on myself. And so what did God do? First he allowed me to be certified as a life coach. Then he allowed me to be able to, you know, you got to fund these things, right? Then he allowed me to be able to be um, a professional speaker, right? No speaking events, not one, none, nobody. Wow. Nobody wants to hire me. They don't know me. Oh, why would they know me? You wrote a book? Everybody wrote a book. Like, <laughs> <laughs> who else did write a book? book. Right? <laughs> they, hey, you self-published it, huh? Through Amazon, I bet. You know, so they, like, they, they finding out all my little cheap venues. And I'm like, y'all, don't, y'all not funny. So, so, and so, and so that aligns me with um, a church member and God rest his soul. Um, Oh no, I'm thinking of the wrong one. I'm sorry. They aligned me with a uh, with a church member that was also facilitating some other stuff. And he said, "You know what? I need to connect you to a friend of mine. You could give some some work on your speaking, and you know you could practice some things over there with him." I said, "Okay." So I called Jerry. We spent about an hour on the phone, and next thing you know, I'm in the studio. <laughs> meeting, meeting, meeting the very great Shea Sam. <laughs> and making all that I, connection. Making that connection. I got a chance to see Father G and I got a chance to see how the things really work and it was legit. And you know, yeah. and then 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 wait a minute, let's just stop and pause and just say Batman is just a whole nother type of gentleman. Family first, no God first, family man, you know, and, and then he's just so humble, but he know everybody. You know, he know everybody. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's he true. said, You, I want you to do this. I said, Okay. <laughs> and then what I realized um is that I had to do it unscripted. <laughs> okay, come on, let's stop it. To this person. You ready? Let's go. I'm like, okay. Um, so, and then like a year plus later, here we are. You know, um, I yeah. have a name that means something to people. I, I'm really humble about it. Um, but Batman boosts me up a little bit when he reads me the numbers. Like, you did this. I'm like, so real. I did that. So, <laughs> so it's so with Look with, at God. With, Right. Look at God. Look at God, how he moved me along in this step and what I thought I was going to be doing, what I thought I was going to be traveling to, what I thought I had to buy dresses mm-hmm. for and all this other stuff. We had COVID, honey. I'm sitting in a sweatshirt, but I'm here. <laughs> right. <laughs> and right. 
charisma came with me, yeah. praise God. You know, so I'll probably be exhausted when I get off the line, but they will never know it because I'm going to keep moving for God. And whatever it is that I'm dealing with, he moves out the way so I can see clearly down the path that he's taking me. Sometimes he got to pick me up and throw me down that path because I'm so stubborn sometimes. I don't want to let go. So, but, that's, that, but, but, but all of that was building my character so I could be the person that is right here, transparent, yeah, open, energetic. You know, exactly. And I love it. I absolutely love preparing it. You, preparing you for this moment. And Shay, share with us how perhaps some of the experiences that you have gone through have also assisted you in the process of persevering through challenging times and continuing to do what it is that God has called you to do. Um, you know, I, I can say the same thing, just knowing that the path that I that I thought I was going to be on, you know, I, I really just mm-hmm. wanted to be a wedding singer. Um, <laughs> you know, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was okay with I, I was okay with the every now and then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just really wanted to be a wedding singer, and I and I and I used to do old school music and big concert venues and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And so you know, you heard my story about singing the ain't nobody's and the invos and shock cons and you yeah. know and I loved it you know and so right I just thought that I was going to do that that was what I was going to do forever and so once I decided you know um as a believer to start doing music again mm-hmm. I just always settled for I will just be a wedding singer like you can't go wrong with that mm-hmm. uh, you're not in the karaoke <laughs> bar you're not at those venues right. you're not at the bikers anymore sing at the weddings you can sing whatever you want to sing and and you won't be judged and um and and I remember um it just didn't happen that way you know well you said it earlier in the show we have a thing just show up hashtag just show up I showed up at an event um, that I had been invited to and was very skeptical about going but I went and the person who invited me to the event actually said that he was bigger than he was however there was a radio personality there who um, heard me singing at that time and ended up doing my first, my very first radio interview. <laughs> it was my very first radio interview. And it just happened to be a TV personality there who was just starting his TV show. Um, shout out to them all the way. He was from Texas, came to Georgia. And, um, and he did my first TV interview. So in one day, in one show, just showing up, did that this Mm -hmm. tv personality was the radio personality back in texas and so remembered me and started playing my music i had a demo out and started playing my music and so um the hardship in that is i wasn't ready um i I had already geared my brain for just being a um a, a wedding singer you don't have to record for a wedding thing to be a wedding singer you don't have to (laughs) me on the radio. You don't have to do radio interviews, but I'll tell you what, I realized that it came naturally, but there was still some shaping that needed to be done. And yeah. so I literally spent my first maybe six months learning the back end. PG and Kelly, that was the hardest mm-hmm. thing that mm-hmm. any person in business can do because you're reaching out for help and the people that you think are, they're going to help you, they okay. don't want to. No. You're reaching out mm. for some type of guidance, and those people don't want to give you the guidance. Why? Because they feel that you are becoming their competitor. Mm-hmm. And so I'm thinking, well, we're all in church. We mm-hmm. all love right. the Lord. Why was it? Why would it be so hard for you to give me information? Um, just as you know, I wasn't even on Facebook. This is 2014. <laughs> <laughs> As if life wasn't hard enough. I wasn't on Facebook. Right. I didn't know anything about Facebook. Instagram. No. I, I was right there with you. No. I wasn't on yeah, Facebook in 2014. <laughs> so hard enough learning social media. Yeah. I'm but the hardest, part was, the hardest part was doing it alone. Mm. And what I love about God is, although I was alone walking the journey, I love that every place that I went, it was heaven sent. There was somebody laying something in my lap or whispering something in my ear or getting me to the next event or getting me to the, and don't forget the people who try to, you know, try to uh, shame your name along the way, but then you meet, you know, God just shuts the door and then you meet 
someone, like we said, like a Jerry Royce, or you mm-hmm. meet an apology, you meet a Kelly Hollis, you meet, you know, um, all of these other people that come your way. But it's almost like God just whispers in those people's ears and says, she needs something from you. Mm-hmm. And it got me to where I am today. And so I trust that I never have to work as hard as I did in 2014 to make, you know, what needed to happen, happen. Wow, that is huge. And here we are, here we all are today. Yes. You know, we've come together on the same platform, celebrating seven years and yes. 700, 699, seven hundred, six hundred ninety nine, seven episodes. Seven years. <laughs> on air, Positive Powers 21. And it, it it truly has been a journey, and you know they you know we always say that when we go through experiences in life, you know our paths often cross with those that you know we are meant to encourage or are meant to encourage us, or we are you know placed in their path to help them along their journey, or vice versa. So. You know, we are, I always say that, you know, any time that people come together and they meet, it is not by accident. If we're walking in the path and in, in the direction that God has called us to walk in, then, and we hashtag show up, yes. <laughs> you know, our paths will, will, will cross and, you know, each of us you know, I feel are are truly blessed by the presence of others. And I'm truly blessed by you ladies as well for what you have poured into um, myself on this journey. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you both so, so very, so very much for that. (laughs) So very much for that. I feel like it's a a reunion this evening, like, you know, uh, push the party last year. Yes, yes, yes. But our time, as always, is short. So we mm-hmm. only have like a couple of minutes or so left. So can we share with the audience any closing words that you may have and also how they can stay connected when your show is on your social media website and so forth? Yes, ma'am. And thank you again for allowing me to be here to celebrate the 699th episode. And um, and it was such a pleasure meeting the two of you um, back when I did. And I'm so grateful to be a part of the Positive Power Double XI family. Um, everyone, I am accessible through my website. It is simply Kelly Holland. Dot com It's Kelly dash minus sign hyphen, whatever you want to call it, Kelly hyphen Holland <laughs> dot com. Um, there you can reach me um, through Instagram and Facebook and other social medias. Um, you can find the phone number to our nonprofit there. You can find emails to reach me directly. You can even find my book that's on Amazon. <laughs> um, the last encouraging words I would like to leave with you all is to never forget to tap back into your unspeakable joy. Amen. 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 Tap back in unspeakable joy. That's Amen. right. <laughs> share with us how we can stay connected with you, my sister, and encouraging words to leave with the audience. Yes, yes, yes. So you can connect with me on all social media at Shay Sams or Shay Samuels, Instagram officially Shay Samuels, and the website www.beyondthefence.org. That's B-E-Y-O-N-D-A-F-E-N-C-E.org. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel at Shea Samuels as well, where you can see all the videos, motivational moments, and more. I think my encouraging word tonight is just live on purpose. Um, Mm -hmm. There are a lot of us, especially during the pandemic, that has a, we have allowed ourselves to just die on the inside. Mm-hmm. Um, we're watching the news, we're watching a lot of what's happening around us and we're listening to friends. A lot of times we get these Facebook in messages and um, you know, the world is kind of, you know, just a whirlwind right now. Um, but I am encouraging you all to live on purpose. What have you been wanting to do that you haven't done? What have you been wanting to say that you haven't said? What is it that you want to be that you just haven't been? Uh, what haven't you committed yourself to and live on that? 
I encourage you, not just for 2021, but for today, to live on purpose. And with that being said, I will close with this. You all have heard me say it before that the greatest conversation, if you are living on purpose, you've got to have this conversation. The greatest conversation that you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears. And as you are living on purpose, what is it that you are speaking to yourself? Is God a part of that conversation? And are you listening to his still small voice? Because if you're listening to his still small voice, you will hear the purpose that he has destined for you. We thank you all so much for joining us. My sister, Kelly, thank you all so much for joining us. Congratulations for being a part of this journey. And we're Amen. looking forward to the many things that God is continuing to do in your life. And my sister, Amen. Shay Samuels. Thank you for having me. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> we will continue to do it. Thank you so much yes. for having me. Yes, and thank you all so much for being just a part of this journey here on Late Night Radio with Jerry Royce Live and Paula G. You can catch me on the second and fourth Mondays. My sister Shay Samuels on the first and third. Don't forget Kelly on Thursday evenings. Oh, right I forgot to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Thank you, Paula G. See, that's my I sister. Got you. <laughs> we can have each other's back. Thank you. <laughs> And we thank Batman. We celebrate Batman of seven years of yeah. radio and 699, 700 episodes, <laughs> three times over. <laughs> a true testament. It. Me a true too. testament of perseverance. You know, and like Kelly said, you know, a family man, God first is family and, and creating mm-hmm. this legacy for all. So thank you all so much for joining us. And ladies and gentlemen, can you, Shay? Feel the power. Power the power 21. We have power. power. (laughs) We're feeling the power, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You better feel the power. (laughs) (laughs) Batman eavesdropping on our conversation. I know, right? I must say, you know, definitely missed the Christian party line. You know, I know everything is in seasons and, you know, people got an opportunity to find out what they were made of. And uh, always, you know, just like the way we choose our television guests, it depends on how well they interview on the podcast, you know, mm-hmm. so they can reach the next level. So it's always about reaching the next level and uh, persevering yeah. to go through because it's not an easy task. You know, like you guys said, you just got to strap on the boots and just do it, you know, mm-hmm. or assign it to somebody right. else like I did. <laughs> <laughs> We got you back. Made, right. right. made away, right? Made away. That's right. <laughs> and just think about how many people you guys are encouraging every time you know you turn on that mic. You don't know who you saved that day. You know, yeah. you don't know um, how yeah. they were encouraged by your journey that they want to continue on and maybe change course because they were on the wrong path. You know, so I always feel like that. You know, I remember somebody said they don't care if it's just ten people listening; if they can make a difference, it's all yeah, worth it. Mm-hmm. It's all worth it. Yeah, okay. that's there right. You go. There you go. So I applaud you, ladies. Again, thank you, thank you so thank much you, Batman. for your hard work, and I I know it's going to pay off. God reward us so many ways when you give so much. You know, mm-hmm. you'll see it in your blessings. You know, people always yeah. say. um, they always feel like they should get paid for something they just got started. And it's like, no, you got to put your work in first. You should be oh, yeah. singing for free mm-hmm. in the park and handing out this and that before you open up whatever. You you know, you got to prove yourself first to the universe, you know, and then God will say, okay. You know, just like when someone starts sewing into you, they want to see you some longevity. <laughs> They're not going to hand you over their hard earns, their hard earnings for nothing. You know, they're watching. All right. So keep, yeah. so stay on that path, ladies, you know, and it's, and it's going to get better. All right. Well, look, I appreciate Amen. everybody tuning in. I hope, I hope everybody got a lot out of the broadcast. Thanks and yeah, you're welcome. And I, like I said, I miss all of you guys being together. And um, we'll come together again. Yeah. Amen. All right. God, God's <laughs> will. Girl time. 
time. That's right. <laughs> All right. Little buddy, you ready? He's ready. I think he's ready. Is he ready? I think he's ready. It's live worldwide <laughs> podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power. A double X. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. It starts right now. A renewed mind, hosted by Dr. H. Dante Duckett, pastor of New Kingdom Faith Christian Church. Position yourself right now to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, here's our host, Dr. H. Dante Duckett. Hello and welcome to A Renewed Mind. I'm your host, Dr. H. Dante Duckett, and we am so excited that you decided to drop by and take another opportunity to listen to the podcast of A Renewed Mind. We have been doing some great work We've been having some great discussions. We've been having some great guests. Uh, but tonight, we're going to dig a little deeper into how to help you to become and live your best life right now. Living your best life right now is going to take the work of a renewed mind. It's going to take effort in order to f- ensure that you are being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Some time ago, I I taught on the subject, the power of a trained mind. There's power when you train your mind. There's power when you allow yourself, when you allow your mind to go through the training that it needs to go to in order for you to uproot all the corruption that has been dug so deep, that's been deeply embedded into your thinking. We understand that most of us are in the situations that we're in that may be contrary to what God has in store for us because of our thinking. So I'm going to talk tonight about if you think better, you'll do better. If you think better, you'll do better. Listen, we have to understand that um, a life that has broken free from curses and strongholds that has had you bound for years, we know it's easier said than than done to break free from strongholds. While we're sitting here and while you're listening to this podcast versus trying to live out there, this is the struggle with many believers. Very few are able to literally break free from the life that has become their cage. Listen, it takes a person dedicated to the cause of living an unleashed life beyond the usual disappointments that will occur just because you made an intentional decision. You must understand that the world has designed, listen to this, y'all, life to ensure you never overcome disappointment. It's because it's purpose. The world's purpose is to make sure that when a disappointment comes, you focus more on the disappointment than on the reason the disappointment came. You missed it. Listen, you just missed it. Life wants to make sure you focus more on the disappointment than on the reason the disappointment came. The disappointment came because you made the decision to live an unleashed life, a life that is unleashed, a life that is no longer caged, no longer bound. You made the decision to start doing things different. And because you want to live a life that is counter to the culture, listen, then expect disappointment to start coming coming into your house, coming on your job and everything that's connected to you. All the disappointment is designed to do is to take your focus off of the ultimate and to ultimately delay your arrival to your destiny. Let me repeat that. All the disappointment is designed to do is to take you off focus and to ultimately delay your arrival to your destiny. The only way you'll be able to live an unleashed life on purpose, you must first thirst and desire to learn how to operate with a single-minded focus. I need you to listen more than you've ever listened before on these podcasts. A single-minded focus, remember we talked about this before, will change the course of your life. 
It will change everything about you. It will have you walking different. It will have you talking different. All because you now understand that you have made the decision to waste as few moments as you can. Everywhere you go, you go with a purpose. Every person you talk to, you talk to with a purpose. Every task you perform, you perform with a purpose. To the average onlooker, your life is boring. It lacks excitement. But this is what it will take to live an unleashed life. The life when you are given the assignment, you know you can perform the assignment through Christ who gives you the strength. You are no longer afraid of the assignment. You no longer look for validation because you do the assignment. The only thing you live for is to hear God say, well done, thy good and faithful servant, because you're trying to live the unleashed life. Because all you want to do is to please God with your life. That's the struggle, you know, that you're dealing with. You want to do good, but your flesh keeps trying to pull you in another direction. This is the life in which all the restrictions that were placed on you have now been lifted. You have been born again by God, the father, through the son, through the firstborn son, Jesus Christ, according to his great mercy. He has caused us to be born again to to a living hope through the resurrection of Christ from the dead. You are not the same person you used to be. You are not the same person they knew when you were growing up because you've accepted Christ as your savior. Therefore, you must begin to live a single minded, focused life. The devil will do whatever he can to do to make sure you never get your life in focus. Because if you ever get your life living off a single minded focus, get your life living off a single, you will be dangerous. You will become a weapon against the kingdom of darkness, which means the enemy will make sure he does everything he can do to ensure you never reach your promised land. To make you to stay exactly where you are. This is why the trial came. This is why you're dealing with so much in the front of you, in front of you, behind you, beside you, and underneath. This is why you're still dealing with that trial. This is why, listen, y'all, this is why it says, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. That's what the word says. They listen, they didn't read the scripture when you they didn't read the scripture when you gave your life to Christ. When they took you in the back and you know how it is, you know how they go. You take you in the back, give you your plan of salvation. They didn't tell you that you will face many trials. Even if you would have known that this scripture was in the Bible, you probably would have had second thoughts about coming in front. But now that you are here, you need to keep reading. These trials, listen, y'all, will show that your faith is genuine. This is good. Listen, this is, will not be the last time you hear this. The only way you will know if someone will be with you for the long haul is you have to wait until the real trial comes. <laughs> My God. When the real trial shows up, then you will know who is really with you. The real trial will reveal if that yes was, was, the, was for real or was it just a yes for show. Sure. Let me tell you. The pandemic has revealed everyone that's been connected to me. You're either for me or you're against me. Your yes was real or it was fake. The pandemic exposed it all because that's the trial. That's the trial. That's the great revelator. This COVID-19 is the great revelator. It reveals everyone in your space. It reveals who they are. It reveals where they are. It reveals how they will, how you should be able to approach them. It's not saying that you cut people off. Now you just know who's really for you and who you can trust and who you can't. That's all. A whole lot of folk will say yes for sure. Will say yes because it's convenient. But when the trial shows up, getting them to show up will be the trial. Oh, okay. You didn't hear that, did you? You didn't hear that. A whole lot of folk will say yes for sure. We'll say yes because it's convenient. But when the trial shows up, getting them to show up will be the trial. God uses trials to reveal what's really in your heart. Are you a real Christian who's willing to go the entire distance with God? Or are you leaning on your own understanding? These trials will show that your faith is genuine, genuine. 
scripture continues and says it's being tested as fire tests and purifies. It's not only showing you what you're made of, but it's also purifying you. The entire purification process occurs when you go through the trial. It's his sole desire to present you spotless, to present you as the best version of yourself. And the best way to ensure this happens is to take you through a trial. Think about right now. Think about it right now. What you are going through, whatever has placed, whatever has been placed in your life is designed to get rid of something that is attached to your life. The purification process is designed to remove every impurity from your life and out of your life. God is cleaning you up while you are in this trial. The only way to test and purify you at the same time is to take you through an area he has to and do the most work on is in your mind. God knows if he can get you to think better then he knows he can get you to do better. Come on. An unleashed life is able to maintain this life when the thirst after and the desire, a single minded focus, which will unleash the power to think better, which will lead to lead you to do better. This is the power of a trained mind. A trained mind has the advantage over everything that comes up against it. It's always in control. It's never caught off guard. Even while they, they encounter something they had never seen before, they are always ready. David's life, you know David, King David, David's life is a prime example 